How to put on a loincloth A loincloth is a one-piece garment, sometimes kept in place, by a belt. It can serve as an undergarment or as the sole article of clothing worn in societies where no other clothing is needed or wanted. Gandhi wore a dhoti, a Hindu loincloth, as a way of identifying with the poorest Indians, even though he knew it could be taken as a sign of primitiveness. After reading through this tutorial, you too will be able to wear a loincloth properly. Part 1 Choosing Materials 1. Use leather for a comfortable and durable loincloth. Leather is a common material used in most loincloths. Try using leather for a more durable and traditional loincloth. However, leather can be quite warm and is not a very breathable material. Certain leathers can be bought in bulk at various fabric or textile supply stores. Try using deerskin leather for a comfortable and durable loincloth. You can purchase pre-cut leather loincloths at online retailers, like Etsy. You will ultimately want a piece of leather that is at least 6 feet long and 1 foot wide in order to get the best wrap possible. 2. Try using cotton or other breathable material. Cotton is perhaps a more conventional option as it allows for both comfort and affordability. Cotton is also a flexible material that might make tying your first loincloths a bit easier than a stiffer material like leather. Find cotton that you like in bulk at a fabric supply store near you. 3. Consult traditional loincloth materials and styles for variation. There are many online resources dedicated to loincloth traditions and cultures. Consult these resources to understand which materials might be best, or most traditional, to use for making your loincloth. Many traditional loincloths are also defined by their patterns, treatment, and source. Part 2 Getting Dressed in Your Loincloth 1. Measure Your Material You'll need a material that is 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters, wide and 10 to 12 feet, 3.0 to 3.7 m, long to make your loincloth. You can ask your vendor to measure your material for you, or you can measure it yourself with a tape measure at home. 2. Determine the length of your front flap. Hold up one end in front with your non-dominant hand. The distance it falls determines the length of the front flap. You can decide on any length. Some prefer it extend to the floor, others prefer is extend down to the knee. 3. Begin to thread the loincloth. Use your dominant hand to thread the rest of the material. The material that is not held is your non-dominant hand, through your legs to your back. Bring it up from back to front, then from right to left around your waist. 4. Continue wrapping the cloth around your waist. When you reach your back, double the material over and pass it under the cloth that comes between your legs. A three-yard piece of fabric should be able to loop at least two times. 5. Tie your loincloth around your back. Once you've wrapped yourself, double the slack end over and begin to pass it under the material that is already in between your legs and around your waist. You should be forming a little pouch on top of your wrapped waist or belt. 6. Pull the slack through. Pull the slack all the way through the material wrapped around your waist. There will be a little tail of cloth in the back, but otherwise your loincloth should feel well, wound, and secure. Warnings Make sure the fabric doesn't feel itchy. Some can be very uncomfortable. Practice makes perfect, so if you're going to be wearing a loincloth for an upcoming occasion, try putting it on several days ahead of time just to make sure you can do it. Things A strip of material about 10 inches, 25.4 centimeters, wide and 10 to 12 feet, 
3.0 to 3.7 m long.